So a few questions I've been asked about the Sylvan method recently are, should you continue entering the alpha state when waking after completing the full round of countdown exercises, meaning that after you do the countdown each morning for 50 days, starting at 100 to one and ending at five to one, should you continue doing that in the morning? And the other question is, do you implement the mental screen visualization exercise only after having completed the countdown exercises fully or can you start that on day one of starting the countdown? So keep in mind, I'm not an expert on the Silva method, but I'm only promoting these ideas as possible solutions for you to explore in your own journey with sound so that you can feel better. I'm only here as a guide, but I'm also on the journey myself. And also I use the 1977 version of his teachings, which may differ from other versions that have been released. I also recommend that you buy the book to more fully understand the exercises, the process, and learn more about Jose and his work. You can find a link to the newest edition in the description below. With that said, this is what I believe Jose Silva is saying. So the goal of the countdown is to learn to enter the alpha state. You're training your brain, understanding what alpha feels like to you, and increasing your ability to enter the alpha state more easily. This is why you do the countdown exercise. The goal is to eventually enter the alpha state more easily within where you can do the visualization exercises. Morning in particular after waking up is one of the best times to enter the alpha state. And actually it's more accurate to say stay in the alpha state because within the first few minutes of waking, you are naturally within alpha. So yes, continuing to do this exercise upon waking is beneficial as it makes it easier to access alpha. But what Jose Silva taught is that once you can achieve an alpha state in the morning, after only counting five to one, then you are ready to enter the alpha state at any time of day you choose. However, Jose Silva explains that you will need to again train your brain a bit to do so, since you will be entering alpha from beta as opposed to staying in alpha. This involves an exercise wherein you relax each part of your body and do a countdown. I will create a video just for this exercise and link it below. In terms of if you should be practicing the visualization exercise from day one or waiting until you've actually completed the countdown exercises over a few months, I actually can't find where Jose has addressed this head on. However, in his book, he seems to only describe this visualization in the context of after you have completed the round of countdown exercises. I believe that you could still experiment with visualization while learning the countdown, but if you struggle with visualization at all, you may find it more beneficial to achieve one piece of this process before combining another. It really is up to you in my opinion. So do you have your own thoughts on how Jose Silva meant for the countdown to be used in combination with, it, with visualization? Is it better to master one piece of this first or can you do both at the same time? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.